Hey guys, Yonko Days here today with my review of Boruto Naruto Next Generation Episode 28. I have to do this quickly because I have a uh, project I need to do that I should have been working on for the past week and it's due tomorrow. And I've had all day off so I had no excuses. So let's talk about this very quickly. Alright, this episode was great. And not, I, I've been putting off the Boruto review because I haven't had much to say on the matter of the Boruto anime. But these are really good chapters. This is a really good chapter. I'm doing the review and manga. This is a really good quality stuff right here. This is what I love to see. Boruto lately had been action packed in that fight scene between Boruto and Mr. Shimura, I believe his name was. What? And Shimura was awesome. The idea that these guys want to resurrect the seven ninja swordsmen is so genius. And I really like that uh, flashback. It's one of the first times you would not borrow to acknowledge his dad as an important figure. When he had got like, I'm gonna start a war. And Boruto's like, no you're not. But I really like how they're really thinking about this. Because... These guys are actually pretty smart, because, think of that, Naruto's a really peaceful guy. Naruto wouldn't go to war unless you made him really, 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 really angry. I mean, this guy called Obito, the man who murdered his parents, the coolest guy ever. I mean, this guy forgave and fought alongside the man who killed his parents. Naruto is a saint. Pissing him off to the point where he's going to go to war with you would be incredibly hard. Naruto hates war. So essentially what this guy did, and this is genius, they're like, we're gonna kill the kid. We're gonna, and then we're gonna kill Chojuro. Yeah, I'm sure it just happened and Chojuro wasn't the whole, was still Mizukage. Chojuro would just be like, oh Naruto, come to the to kill him. Like Naruto, he would just let Naruto come to the to and just kill this guy. Like, Chojuro and Naruto, they've been to Kage's dumb as their friends together. Chojuro doesn't care. Chojuro would totally let Naruto come, kidnap the kids, and get and just avenge his son and deal with it himself. So the plan is to have a coup, take Chojuro down, and then start a war. Now, this is the problem I have with this. If you're only a Boruto fan, and you're just starting, there's no problem with it plotline. But if you know how powerful Naruto is, you're kind of just like, uh, no, it wouldn't be a war. But what happened is that Naruto would find out you killed his son, he would drop everything, <laughs> come to the hidden miss village, kill you all with, like, flip, with a flick of his finger. Bitch, no. Bitch, no. Bitch, no. Maybe torturing you, I don't know. We're not really sure of the way Naruto is with his children. We've never seen him really angry, really angry and protective of them. I'm not sure if he treats them the same way he treated Sasuke in a Sasuke situation. If he would be like, no, I'm going to forgive you no matter what. Or if, the, or if his kids are completely in their ball game. For all we know, Boruto could be in their ball game. And Naruto could just be like, tell Beast Mom. And just destroy the hit and miss. Who knows? The kids may be the one thing. Hinata, Saki, none of them matter. The kids should be the one thing. You touch those. Naruto go full Saki back to crazy on you. Who knows? That was great. The stuff with uh, Kagura was good. But it was a little overdone. Like, he kind of overreacted. <laughs> like, the thing with him talking to Mr. Sizuma or Sizuma were kind of dragged out. And in the beginning, it was kind of like. Did you know where this is going? Like, I knew where it was going, so I was kind of like, why are we still doing this? You know what I mean? That bothered me. Like, it was very boring. It did. it was tense. It wasn't like an interesting tense. It was tense, but it was more like, oh, I know where this is going. Like, it was almost like fake tension, you know what I mean? I mean, we know where this is going. I, I, they weren't going to build up to Kagura just being like, no, and then rejecting the guy. I, I pretty much figured out halfway through the conversation, Kagura was going to work with him. 
And that bothered me. Um, so I do like how now we're getting created to the opening where Boruto will be working with Dorada. I know with Dorada and Miki probably take the guy down. The reintroduction of Do We Get Do I find very interesting. Also, I know I haven't been reviewing the arc. I did release my video on my thoughts so far, but that Boruthara in the arc, that Boruthara. I ship it. I own character 12, I ship it. And I will be right this time. I swear to God, this is like Narusaku all over again, I'm gonna be pissed off. No, but uh, I, I really did like the thing with Serata healing, uh, not healing, Boruto. What is interesting is that she knew bandages. That is interesting. So, does this confirm that Sakura didn't teach her medical ninjutsu? Because if you notice, Sakura actually, I don't think there's a single scene in Jippuden where she put bandages on Naruto. Besides, po no, she, she bandages his arm. Sakura casts up his arm after her fight with Kakadu, being the injured, being the, like, decimates it to the point where she can't heal it. And, uh, and her and Sakura and Zunade do put bandages around the prosthetic. But that most likely means the prosthetic arm is disgusting looking. It's a Zestu arm. So Naruto probably was like, hey, can we just put bandages around this so uh, nobody needs to see it? <laughs> because, I mean, why? You think, I don't think Sakura, I think Sakura would probably stare at Naruto's arm when he's not conscious that they were like, that's gross. Yeah. No, that's not the point. The point is, is that Sakura just. Is Sakura makes it evidently clear in Jippu and medical ninja do not use bandages. So they pretty much concerned what I always assume was obvious that Dorada's not a medic. Like her mother, she just isn't. I'm going to go off on a limb and assume after this maybe they'll go to Sakura and be like, teach me the basis. Like, I'm a bit of a that if, if you were smart, every single ninja would know the basis of medical ninjas do. But it's apparently really hard to learn even the basics. But Serata had really good chakra control, so maybe she'll learn that. I'm not sure. The thing with Miki looking over the uh, Mitsukage office was interesting. Um, I'm really hoping we start to get rid of like Shikarai, Dengi, and all of them. I, was, I like Shikarai. I like Miki. I like Inojin. But I really like... But Miki and Serata were designed by Kishimoto himself to be Boruto's teammates. Meaning they had meaning they were designed to be the most they're, they're very interesting characters. They're very likable characters. Miki is very interesting. Serata is very interesting. I'm really excited to see where they go with the two of them. I want the we're, we're not getting a lot of what is it, you realize that we're getting a lot of Boruto and Miki? And we get a lot of Boruto and Sarada. But we're not getting Serata Sarada. Same thing. But we're not getting Miki, Boruto, and Serata together. And we do see them in the opening with their headbands on, and they seem happy. So, I mean, the whole thing is kind of confusing. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But I'm very excited for that. To see them get together. I'm assuming they're going to fight the Myth Ninja together. And I just want to say right now, if Boruto just needs a 7 Ninja Sword Mint on his own, or if Boruto and Serata and Miki just need a 7 Ninja Sword Mint, I'm going to be angry. Because, listen, they're not even getting. Like, they're not even skilled enough to be getting, which is another problem I have with this episode. Boruto just played some pretty cool things this episode, but in the previous episode, Bakage were like, these guys are subpar. To hell with that. That's stupid. So, yeah, that's about my thoughts on the episode. I enjoyed it. There was nothing I particularly didn't like about it. That I didn't, and I said, the first, like, seven or eight minutes dragged on. That could also be because it was interrupted a lot for me. That could have ruined the flow of the episode. So, yeah. Really good episode of Boruto. Um, I'm probably going to start reviewing One Piece again tomorrow. I'm sorry I've been off so much on the Boruto review. I love doing these. It's just that I have not had much. And I've had, I've been busy with school and I haven't had enough to stay on the Boruto episode lately. To justify doing a review and making time for it. But I've decided this week I'm going to get back into it and I'll be doing weekly Boruto reviews and weekly One Peak reviews. The One Peak reviews have been messed up because of the scheduling being weird. But this week, well there's no One Peak this week, but next week I'll be back on the game with Boruto and One Peak reviews. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Subscribe for more videos. It's One Peak and Yoko's day. 
dining out, have a nice day guys. I'm sorry, I'm trying to incorporate music in more of these videos. The reason there is no music is because I find time to edit in. I'm uploading this, no edit as it is. Because I'm sorry, but I have a paper I need to write. And I, and I have to go to bed in like an hour. I want to go to bed in like an hour. And I have like 15 inventions I need to do research for. So yeah, I'm sorry. Seeing your year is being a bitch. It's a little bit it's a more homework than it was last year. So that's probably a problem. I should stop talking now. You guys aren't going to be watching this anymore. Go have fun. I also have to, I want to make a quick announcement. I have a couple, Nar I have a Naruto versus battle that, that will be, that will be the very interesting discussion coming. And I also will be doing a video on fairy tale pretty soon. Peace out, guys.